Hey, this is Keith Dennis here to show you how to create a custom ringtone for your iPhone in iTunes. All you have to do is control click or right click on a PC and select create ringtone. But if you haven't purchased the song from iTunes, you'll get this error message. Don't blame Apple for this fully. Copyright laws concerning digital media usage are still firmly entrenched in a 20th century mentality, while your iPhone is the pinnacle of 21st century technology. So Apple only has the right to offer you a ringtonization of music they've sold you through iTunes. Laws regarding digital usage of media will catch up eventually, but until then there's a fairly simple workaround that we can do without any special software. I've created a playlist in my iTunes called Ringtones and put all the music in there that I want to make ringtones out of. You don't have to do this. You can select a song straight from your music library. I just like to keep things organized. Select the song that you want to turn into a ringtone. I'm going to use the Super Mario Brothers theme song. It's been my ringtone on every cell phone I've ever had. I like it because it makes my nerdiness immediately identifiable to all other nerds within earshot. This version of Super Mario Bros. is a minute and 24 seconds, and an iTunes ringtone can't be longer than 40 seconds. iTunes would let us go through all the steps, but it'd never sync onto your phone, so we'll have to shorten this. Pull up the Get Info window by going File, Get Info, and pick the Options tab. Down here you see Start Time and Stop Time. Change the stop time to where you want the song to stop. This function works in minutes, seconds, tenths, hundredths, and even thousandths of seconds. Find a natural stop time to the song so that it's less than 40 seconds long. Ultimately, it doesn't matter that much because your iPhone is going to go to voicemail in about 20 seconds. Through a little trial and error, I found that 36.5 seconds gives me a decently clean out. If you don't want to start your ring in the beginning of a song, you can check start time and start in the middle. Then adjust the stop time to be less than 40 seconds from that start time. For me, it's all about the first two measures of Mario, so I'll leave the start time at zero seconds. Go ahead and click OK. Next, you'll need to turn your song into an AAC file, which is the audio file format Apple uses for ringtones and downloaded music. It's basically a newer version of MP3 that sounds better and has smaller file sizes. To do this, you may have to change your iTunes preferences. Go up to iTunes and select Preferences. Under the General tab, press the Import Settings button. Change the Import Using pull-down menu to AAC Encoder. You can change your settings here. I use iTunes Plus because it's the best quality and have plenty of space on my iPhone. If you have space issues, you could drop the quality down, but these are short files, so it wouldn't help you that much. Hit OK and OK to get out of that. With the song selected, go up to the Advanced pull-down menu and select Create AAC Version. You can also command click or right click with a mouse and select Create AAC Version from that pull-down. Now if this is a song you actually like listening to, you want to go back into Get Info, which you can do from the File menu, or you can use the keyboard shortcut Command-I or Control-I on a PC. Then uncheck the Stop Time box so your song will again play to its natural end. Now you have to find the file on your computer's hard drive. Go up to File, Show in Finder. You'll see your song next to a copy of your song with the M4A extension. Next you'll need to duplicate the song. Command click it and select Duplicate. Or on a PC you'll need to copy and paste it, which you can do by right clicking on the file and selecting Copy, then right clicking back into the Explorer window and selecting Paste. If you skip this duplication step, iTunes won't import the ringtone back in. You'll need to change the M4A extension to M4R, which is how iTunes will recognize it as a ringtone. Just click on the file slowly to make it editable and change the A to an R. You can also get rid of any extraneous text that was added when you made the copy. Also, stay away from special characters like ampersands and number symbols. iTunes doesn't like those in a ringtone name. On a PC, you may not see file extensions at all. If this is the case, you'll need to go to your Control Panel and select Appearance and Personalization, Folder Options, and select the View tab. Then uncheck Hide Extension for Known File Types. I checked this on a Windows Vista machine. Settings might be slightly different for newer or older versions of Windows, but they should be relatively similar. After finishing renaming your extension, you'll get a warning to the effect of, are you sure you're smart enough to be changing file extensions? 
You can thank the computer for trying to save you from yourself, but you'll want to click the Make it an M4R file. Then, you can just drag the M4R version into iTunes and it'll automatically accept it into the Ringtones folder. In your iPhone settings, make sure that Sync All Ringtones is selected, or at least the selected ringtone that you just made. Then, hit Sync. And that's it! I'm Keith Dennis, and I thank you for your time.